Hello everyone and welcome to my November book haul. I have eight books to show you this month which I don't think is too bad considering how big some of my earlier book hauls this year have been. Um, I'm not actively not buying books, I just don't really feel the urge to buy books at the moment which is a really good thing because obviously I'm trying to save money for Christmas at the moment. I'm also going away in December so I need to save money for that. So I'm really really happy that I have naturally managed to cut down on my book buying. So obviously these books I'm going to show you. Two of them you will have already seen if you've been watching my recent unboxings. One of them I've already read and the other one I've read half of and will be finishing today. So it's not like I'm buying loads of books and then leaving them lying around for years which used to be the story of my life. So really really happy about that. So the first book I'm going to show you you will have already seen if you saw my Illumicrate unboxing this month and that is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Now from what I gathered this is a recently released YA sci-fi about a world where um, these kind of robot fake human type things are created as guardians for real humans and they form a very close bond with their humans because of this and I think this is from the perspective of one of these diabolics and um, she is living in a time where her human's life is threatened and the empire is at stake or something like that and she obviously has to um, make it her mission to protect her human from the things that are happening around her and I think there are questions like she starts to question whether she is actually more human than she is supposed to be and things like that so it sounds really cool I have heard pretty good reviews of it so far so I'm looking forward to picking it up when I get the chance Another book you will have already seen if you saw my recent Nerdy Bookworm box unboxing and that is Moon Chosen by PC Cast. I cannot get over the gorgeousness of this very very shiny iridescent cover. Um, from what I gathered of this, this is a YA fantasy adventure featuring werewolves I think um, and that's pretty much all I know. I haven't read any of PC Cast's um, vampire series but I do have a lot of those books but I haven't read any of them so I'm going into this with no expectations at all I hadn't even heard of this book before I unboxed it and I don't really want to I want to go into this reasonably blind to see what I think of it so yeah a book that I was sent very very kindly from the publishers Transworld Books this month I did request this book so it wasn't a complete surprise when it showed up but I was really really excited to be accepted for a copy of it and that is The Fate of the Tealing by Erica Johansson this is the third and final instalment in the Tealing trilogy you guys all know I absolutely adored the first two books in this series and I really really wanted this book and I'm so so happy that I was sent a copy from the publishers so thank you so much for that Transworld you've no idea how much this means to me I haven't read it yet but I will be reading it in early December so I will let you guys know what I think of the ending of this awesome trilogy um, I'm, I have mixed feelings about finishing it because I really don't want it to end but at the same time I really want to know what happens in the end you guys will probably understand that dilemma but um, yeah I will obviously talk about it more in my December wrap up so I'm really really hoping for an awesome conclusion I got two books from Amazon this month because they had price drops. They were on my wish list and they had price drops, so I thought I would just get them. The first one is this little poetry book called The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. Now, I had never heard of this book before the Goodreads Choice Awards started this year. This was in the poetry category and it really, really intrigued me. I don't read a lot of poetry, but I put this on my wish list and I was really happy when it had a price drop and I am so, so happy happy that I bought it when I did. These poems are gorgeous. I have posted a couple of them on my Instagram and you guys absolutely adore them too so I'm really really happy about that. They're all about kind of um, finding strength within yourself and self-love and um, being happy on your own, finding your independence and things like that. They are just gorgeous I'm really really happy I picked this up really really happy that I've discovered it when I when I discovered it because I've not really had the best month internally if I'm going to be totally honest so I really really needed this um so yeah I haven't finished it yet I've only read the first two parts which I think are called the um princess and the damsel yeah so I need to read the queen and you so I've got two parts um left to go um 
really, really recommend this book if you are kind of struggling with um, loving yourself and finding your own strength and your independence and things like that. Really, really recommend that you pick these poems up because it's a really, really quick little read. This is the self-published version and then I think it's being published by one of the big publishers um, early next year, February, I think. So this self-published edition won't be around forever. So if you do want this edition, I recommend that you pick it up as soon as you can. And another book that I got from Amazon this month is The 12 Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohen and David Levithan. Now, I read the first Dash and Lily book, um, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, last Christmas, I think it was possibly the Christmas before. Absolutely loved it. I really, really love David Levithan. I just find his books so, so funny. So I don't know if this is an extension of that book. I think it might be. Um, this is obviously a Christmas book. The first book is also a Christmas book. So they are kind of Christmassy reads and I will be picking it up at some point in December probably later on in December so I am reading it more around actual Christmas time so yeah really really looking forward to it it's only a little book so it's not going to take me very long to get through but I really really loved the first little Christmassy warm cozy romance that Dash and Dilly's Book of Dares was so I'm hoping this will be in a similar vein and I got a few books from a charity shop. So all of the, there's three more books in this book haul and I got all three of them from charity shops this month. The first one is a book that I read, um, it, was it last month or the month before? Absolutely loved it. It's one of my favourite books of all time, but I read it on my Kindle. So I kind of thought I need a physical edition of it. So I was really, really excited when I saw a awesome, awesome condition one for cheap. And that was Vicious by B.E. Schwab. Really, really loved this book. As I said, I have read it very recently but I just wanted a physical copy of it. This is about two boys, Victor and Eli, who are at college together and then for Eli's um, thesis he decides to prove the existence of extraordinary people and um, madness and ridiculousness and insanity ensues from there. So I really recommend that you pick up this book if it sounds like your sort of thing. It's an amazing book. It's literally one of my favourite books of all time. Another book that I've heard amazing, amazing things about and I saw it in a charity um, shop for cheap and because of upcoming events in my life I thought okay I will just get it now and that is A Burial Rites by Hannah Ken. I do often see it in charity shops but I've never really kind of thought to pick it up but um, this is about the last woman who was hanged in Iceland and that's pretty much all I know. I'm actually going to Iceland in a couple of weeks for the first time. It's a country I've always wanted to visit and I'm so, so excited so I thought this is maybe appropriate for now. So I'm going to give it a read. I don't know if I will read it um, before I go to Iceland or while I'm in Iceland. I may do. I'm not entirely sure. But um, it just kind of felt like appropriate to obviously upcoming events in my life. So I thought I would just pick it up. Lovely, lovely edition. It's got the spray painted black edges and I've heard really, really good things about it. I know a lot of people have really raved about it. And the last book in this haul has been on my wish list for a long, long time. So again, I was really, really excited when I saw it for cheap in a charity shop. And that is Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. And this is the first book in a trilogy, I think. And I think all three books are out now in this series. And all I know is it's a YA fantasy with trolls in. And I've never, ever read a book with trolls in. So... Yeah, that's all I want to know. I have heard pretty good things about it as well. So I'm looking forward to it. It's been on my wish list for a long time. The whole series has been on my radar for a long time. So I'm hoping it's as good as I apparently think it will be. And that is it for my November book haul. What books did you get this month? Please let me know. I would love to know. I will leave all my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.